everybody, it's Kelly from Man and Kelly Philippine Adventure coming at you from Indiana where I'm sitting next to a tree in my backyard. Uh, as you can see around here, there's uh, the uh, fenced in part of the backyard where we keep the dogs. And of course there's the house behind me. But I like this area so it's got a place to sit back and lean against the tree and just enjoy the sun. Or like in the Philippines, if you were outside, you would uh, definitely be feeling the heat. I would be melting right now. But right now, it's a cool, windy day. It's about uh, 75 degrees, maybe. Maybe a little bit warmer, but not much more than that. So I'm very happy. Just do a little quick recap since I've been home. Um, I went to the eye doctor. Of course, I have to get some new glasses. Um, going to get some work done on my back and see what else we do oh yeah i had to pick up some clothes i mean um one thing i can't find being in, as, as big as i am in the philippines it's hard to find uh like boxer shorts so i've got that covered now i now have over 20, 25 pair of boxers uh, some more shoes and some new t-shirts and things like I, I, that i need on a regular basis so i picked up some of those things and if you're going to be going to the Philippines, make sure you stock up on things like that. And aspirin and Advil, painkillers, to you know, toothpaste, that's not so big of a deal. You can get those anywhere. But so I, you know, I picked up some things like that. I've been doing a lot of time, spending some time with my mother. Um, I was lucky to be here during during uh, Mother's Day, so um, we didn't sell we really didn't celebrate Mother's Day on Mother's Day because she doesn't like going out when it's really crowded, so um today is monday i think she said wednesday she wants to go out and do something so that's what we're going to do wednesday we'll probably go out to dinner and and uh, just have have a nice day out with her and i've uh, been spending some quality time here at home uh i do miss my wife Anne, and i also miss my son liam my brand new son I really miss him. I wish uh, I wish they could have came with me this time here to the States. Uh, we are working on that. We'll have that done as soon as we can. But until then, all I can do is talk to them. You know, I talk to them twice a day on Messenger. One usually when I wake and they're going to bed and vice versa. It's, it's, it's the best we can do for right now, but we will be uh, changing all that. When we get back to the when I get back to the Philippines, the first thing we have to do is get uh, Liam down to the American Embassy, get the paperwork done because um, by law, from my my understanding now, when talking to the American Embassy, uh, it's a child abroad. I show where I'm, you know, my nationality, proof, birth certificate, all that good stuff. Show uh, his birth certificate, where he was born, his mom. All the paperwork you need necessary and he will be able to uh, get, I don't know if it's called a dual citizenship or, or I'm not sure how that works, but it, supposedly he'll be able to go both to both countries. He'll get a, he'll, he can get a social security card from America and a birth certificate, I think. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's how that works. But um, we need to get that done when we get back to the States. We also need to get a lot of things done, um, shots. Liam's coming up on two months, so he'll be getting his shots pretty soon, and we'll have to get that done. I don't look forward to that. When he was born, he had a thing in his hand uh, for fluids, and uh, when they took it out of him, uh, Ann, bless her heart, she, you know, she cried, and and I just feel really sorry for Ann when she has to watch him get shots because I know Liam's not going to like those at all. So, yeah, we got that to look forward to. Of course, everybody knows who I. Ain't. I like my tea. Uh, nothing like a good glass of uh, sweet tea on a nice day. I don't know if there's going to be any wind noise in this video. I hope I hope there's not. I tried to get to a position where the wind wasn't hitting it directly. Um, but yeah, nothing's been really going on. We haven't, you know, we haven't put a Philippine uh, adventure video up because, well, I'm not in the Philippines. But that will be changed once I get back to the Philippines uh, in a couple of months. Anne is healing well. She's doing very well. Um, 
from the birth. She had a C-section, so um, that was that was unavoidable. Um, a lot of people say that, you know, I hear a lot of people say they have to get uh, C-sections because they're easier to deliver a baby. Well, she wanted to do natural childbirth, but uh, she was having problem when she went into labor and the baby's heartbeat started started dropping so they said no we need we need to do a c-section so they went ahead and did it with our blessings and of course as everybody knows Liam is fine the mom is fine um, Liam is gaining a lot of weight he's doing very well we'll have some more video of him when I return to the Philippines and well he doesn't like doing videos herself because um, she says she doesn't uh, School bus. She really doesn't know exactly how to edit and stuff like that. And I told her, just send me the, and I'll edit for you. But she said, no, I'll just wait till you get home. My hands are full with your son. That's another thing, my son. <laughs> she says things like this here, and she started this, and I seen it coming. When he's sleeping and he's looking all angelic, and she shows me the video of him sleeping there, and he's smiling, little chubby cheeks, and he goes, look how handsome my son is, or guapo. Guapo means handsome. And I said, yes, he's very handsome. But when he's up at three o'clock in the morning screaming his head off, wanting his mama to hold him, then he's my son. Anytime, anytime he's he's angry or upset or crying, then he's my son, which I find very funny. But that's all right. This nothing big deal. Ah, start cleaning up. He got a lot of sticks running around. Sticks are falling up these trees. You get some cleaning up around here. I gotta mow the grass. Just mowed the grass about, uh, what was it, four days ago? And if you can take a look at this. Look at this grass. Look how tall it is already. Look how tall that grass is. It's just, it grows. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So that's our neighbor back there. Very quiet. Um, Trying to get Ann back here. And wants to make a video or not a video and wants to have a garden which we have plenty of land here I mean it's it's you know the trees and it goes way way back there to the road as you can see big big piece of parcel of land here um, she can put us she wants to put a small garden maybe behind me right here by the by the shed I don't know I don't care she wants a, a vegetable garden and she wants a flower garden which, you know, whatever makes her happy, I don't care. Um, Got to get a swing set, though, because Liam will need a swing set. Uh, Got to get a swing set. Take care of that for him. Maybe get me a boat so I can go do some fishing. It's getting kind of busy around here. Got a lot of traffic going up down these roads lately. Usually don't have this much traffic, but here lately, we got a lot of traffic. So I don't know what, what's causing all the traffic, but it's nowhere near the traffic in the Philippines. Oh my God. I tried to explain it to my mother when we went uh, out the other night and being, and she got upset because somebody uh, braked real hard in front of us and, and I didn't even hesitate. It was, I guess I'm used to the Philippine way of driving. I've been, well, I've driven for many years anyway. I was a professional driver here in the States. And well, so was my mother. She was a truck driver for many years with my father. You wouldn't think it would bother, but uh, from my understanding, she says the older she gets, the more things make her nervous when it comes to driving. So, I don't know. To get back to the Philippines, one of the things we also have to do is file for a 13A visa, which will um, make me a, not a permanent resident, but a, sorry about that, motorcycle. That's the first one I've seen here, long time. Um, it's not a per permanent resident, but it is a resident visa, which will, uh, I guess, knock out me paying uh, visa fees every, you know, every month, two months, six months, and so on. But you still have to keep your ACR card um, up to date, and you still have to come in once a year and pay your, your I think it's your ACR card, ICR card fees. You gotta do those every year. So we're going to do that, but in the, we want to get the 13A visa taken care of so that I can put more time and uh, money towards getting her, her visa to come here to America and getting Liam's paperwork and getting all that done. That's, what we're, that, that's our goal to get that done. Um, everything's going pretty good here. Like I said, I miss my family. 
Um, but it's nice to spend time with my mother. It's, you know, I don't get to see her. Last time I saw her was last year, so it is nice seeing her. I think I'm gaining a little bit of weight back because, well, my mother is Italian and she does cook well. We were supposed to have rain today, a lot of rain today, but I haven't seen any rain. Uh, it's very sunny right now. This morning there was a lot of clouds out here, but um, nothing right now. I mean, it's sunny as you can see. The sun's out. It's very pretty. Um, it's very, it's not hot. It's, it's kind of, the wind is a little, little bit of a chill into it. As you can see, I got me a flannel shirt on. Um, but that's even, even that's getting a little warm because I'm sitting here in the sun. But I mean, I, it's, it's a weird feeling to be able to sit in the sun this long a period because in the Philippines, when you sit in the sun this long, you're just bursting out sweat within minutes. But I miss the beaches and I miss the, the, the different kinds of foods. I miss all of that. Keep hearing people come around out, out the back door, but there's nobody there. Flight, yeah, on the flight home, or the flight here to the States was a pretty good one. I had a six hour layover in, in uh, Taiwan. To Taiwan? Yeah, I was in Taiwan. I had a six hour layover. I've gotten my return ticket already. I've also got my onward flight ticket. Now, you people need to understand do not buy those. Uh, my opinion is not to buy those uh, where you buy a seat and it's not really a plane ticket. It's it's um, onwardflight.com or something like that. I, I just don't. I'm not going to waste some money on that and the fear. I've heard too many nightmares about people getting it not getting done correctly or anything else. So I got online and uh, when I first landed here, I started looking for an onward flight ticket because I already had the return. And I found one for, I think it was $41 or $61. I think it was $41. No, $61. It was $61 going from Cebu to uh, Singapore. Now, a little little advice when you buy an onward ticket and you don't want them raising an eyebrow on you when you buy it uh, set the onward date for you know don't don't land on say the 6th of July and your onward ticket is on the 7th of July or the same day because they'll expect you to leave that same day you know go 20 you know 15 20 days after you land before your onward tight ticket is used that way they won't start questioning you or wondering you know if you're going to be staying longer or whatever it sure is a nice day out i wish mary and, and uh, liam were here right now i thought i'd come out here where it would be nice and quiet because when i sit on the front porch there was no cars very quiet and then i come out here and people in the background is running their lawnmower uh about a half a block over and then all of a sudden the cars are coming <laughs> the cars are running up and down um so Sorry about all the noise. I thought I had it covered, but I guess I didn't. But it was strange. A lot of things I had to get used to over here. The weather is one of the biggest ones. I was freezing cold when I first got back. Oh my God, I was cold. But it's okay now. I mean, um, we haven't. I haven't uh, had to put the air conditioning on here at the house since I returned. I've been here for a little over a week now. The nights have gotten actually cold. I mean, they're really, they're chilly. They've been down to like 50, 45, 50, 60 degrees. It's been getting cold. Got these little weird flowers popping up all over my yard. But um, I just want to say hi to everybody. Uh, I haven't put a video out, an actual video video. Um, again, when we get back, we're going to be doing a lot more, you know, Philippine related videos. But I have noticed here when I landed here, there's a lot of things different here than the Philippines. People are, are it's like the rush, 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 rush. When I landed in the airport, um, no one, you know, says hello to you or anything like that. Um, and they're all in their own, their own mindset, and they're all going 90 miles an hour. There was a funny little thing that happened to me here in the states. I thought it, I, I, I didn't really know how to, to, to really deal with it. When I landed, I had to catch a Greyhound bus from the airport in Chicago. Then they had to go into uh, into Chicago to Highland, Illinois, and then I had to switch buses. I was going to be late over there for about an hour to switch buses to bring me back close to here where I can get picked up at. So at the bus station, I walked in. I asked what time the bus run, and she told the lady at the counter told me, and I told her, "Well, I had a 20. I like. So can you please give me change for a 20 so I can get a, a, something out of the machines?" 
And she said, well, to be honest with you, if you walk across the street, there's a pilot truck stop. And uh, go over there and you get changed. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, it's cheaper over there anyway. Okay, thank you very much. And I started picking my bag up and I asked her if I could leave my two big suitcases there. And she goes, yeah, you just go ahead and leave them there. And then as I got to turn around to walk out, she said, excuse me, would you do me a favor? And I said, uh, sure. Because while you're over at the truck stop, would you please get me some change? I'm out of ones and fives. And, I, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, no problem. And, but she, I don't know her, I've never met her. And I'm thinking she's gonna hand me you know, a $20 bill or something like that to get some change or a 10 to get some ones. She handed me $100 in 20s. And she said, uh, just tell them I need ones and, ten, or ones and fives if possible and some tens. And I was, I was kind of shocked that you know the stranger would trust a complete stranger getting off a bus in Chicago. Say here, here's a hundred bucks. Would you walk across and get me some change? I mean, I'm sure she uh, thought I would. You know, she maybe she thought I was honest looking. I don't know. Um, but I did it. It was no, it was no big deal. So I walked over there, got me a, a sandwich and a, and a drink, and I came back and I gave her the change, and uh, she was very grateful. But it was just odd for me, you know, I, for someone who you don't know, you give $100 to and then just go across the street and get change for them. I mean, as far as she knows, I could have just walked out the door and said, keep my old torn up boxers and t-shirts and I'll just buy some more with the 100 bucks. You know, you don't know. But that was a weird story I thought I'd share it with you. So I guess that is it. I'm going to call this a day because I'm starting to get warm. The sun's getting hot and uh, I'm not going to do a strip tease out here and scare all you guys. So, um, <laughs> so I am Kelly from Ann and Kelly's Philippine Adventure and I will see you in our next Philippine Adventure. Bye bye.